Good evening. This is Two Wolves. This is still the 16th of October, 2012. It's about 9 p.m. And I'm reporting from southern Idaho um, on the Snake River. Idaho whitefish are dying. And Fish and Game has been puzzled about this and had been asking anglers as to why. This is a mountain whitefish. Color light grayish blue on back, silvery on sides. And this is from Idaho Fish and Game website. Dull whitish on the belly, small mouth without teeth. Five other species of whitefish are found in Idaho. So we'll go first to what the history on this story. And this is from http theRockyRiver.com. It's a great website for outdoors people. And beginning with the backstory. Press release from Idaho Falls mirrored on the RockyRiver.com. Idaho wants to know why the whitefish are dying. Idaho Fish and Game is looking for help with, from river users. Over the past few weeks, IDFG has documented dead mountain whitefish on the South Fork and main stem Snake River and has received similar reports of dead whitefish on the Teton and North Fork Salmon Rivers. At this time, IDFG does not know the cause of the kill. According to Regional Fisheries Manager Dan Guerin, it's particularly interesting in that whatever is going on is affecting only whitefish and not trout. So this picture caption, as you can see, Idaho whitefish dying but trout remain healthy. It also appears to be affecting the smaller, younger fish, generally those less than 10 inches. IDFG has sent numerous samples of dead and dying whitefish to the Eagle Fish Health Lab for analysis and hopes to have results of those in the near future. If you see dead whitefish around the region, it would be helpful if you could let IDFG know. And by the way, this photo by Brian Milne for Idaho Fish and Game. At this, okay, so if you see dead whitefish around the region, even so still, it would be helpful if you could let Idaho Department of Fish and Game know. At this point, there have been no documented kills in Henry's Fork, though it is possible that it may be happening there as well. There also have not been any documented deaths of whitefish over 12 inches and no reports of kills of other species, said Guerin. IDFG is also interested in obtaining additional information on the distribution of dead fish and other species that may be affected by the kill. Anglers are asked to keep an eye out for additional dead fish and report their findings to IDFG at 208-525-7290. The more information, the better. Thanks for keeping your eye out, says Garen. This is an issue that has been of great concern. And I'll just show you, just, I'm, I won't click on these for reasons of copyright, but you can go to Google Idaho whitefish dying, and not whitefish, but whitefish is the species name, eh? So you can see everything from television stations to publications to private blogs, this one, Idaho Press on Twitter, lots of people deeply concerned about this. Even Jackson Hole Radio did a story on it. Now, it, one could speculate. We certainly know that there's a nuclear lab on the Snake River, but these fish are dying from an area upriver of the INL. One wonders, I wonder if the unseasonably hot summer had something to do with it. Maybe the wildfires impacted it. Hard to say, but as of September 4, here's maybe an answer. Greg Lozinski, Greg Lozinski at idfgidaho.gov. Here's his phone number, 208-525-7290, again, out of Idaho Falls. Upper Snake River News Release from Idaho Falls, IDFG. Here's the URL. Parasite likely cause of whitefish deaths in the Upper Snake. Recent sightings of dead mountain whitefish have been reported from across the Upper Snake region, including now the Henry's Fork. 
the South Fork Snake River, Teton River, and the Snake River as far south as Firth. Exactly why these fish are dying has been a mystery until now. Preliminary results obtained by Idaho Fish and Games Fish Health Laboratory in Eagle shows that the parasite Tetracapsuloides bryosamini, Semini, also called PKD or proliferative kidney disease, may be behind the deaths. This rare parasite has not been documented in Idaho's wild fish before, though it has been reported in both wild and hatchery trout and salmon in North America and in Europe. This may be the first time the parasite has been detected in any whitefish species. The life cycle of the parasite is not well understood, but it involves a freshwater sponge as well as a fish. Transmission and disease signs are linked to elevated water temperatures, which have been common in area waters this summer. So there you go. Elevated water temperatures, whether because of unusually hot temperatures, the warming of the planet, the fires, we don't know, but considerably elevated water temperatures, which have been common in area waters this summer. There are no known health risks to humans or other warm-blooded animals. Though a likely cause of fish mortalities has been identified, new questions are arising as a result of this information. For instance, Fish and Game does not know the level of impact the current outbreak may have on mountain whitefish populations or if the parasite will also affect other species, such as trout, still an unknown. It appears only mountain whitefish have been affected. Also unknown is why only younger whitefish have been affected, whether the kill occurs periodically or whether this is the first time an outbreak has occurred. Scientific literature indicates fish that survive an initial infection develop strong immunity to the parasite. Additional samples will be collected to verify the preliminary test results and look for the presence of this parasite in trout. Structured sampling this fall will provide an insight into how extensive the kill has been on the South Fork Snake River. And for more information, contact Upper Snake River Fisheries Manager Dan Karen. Well, this is a troubling story, and so uh, one to think about and take into account if you live in Idaho, if you fish, if you find any dead white fish. In any case, this gentleman is your contact. Thank you for listening to Wolves Out.